Hello, hello, and welcome. I am just updating our to-do list for kind of, I guess, a uh, topic. You know, some strategies, some things to work towards, uh, you know, so that we don't make a mistake along the way, right? Truffle, uh, we need to get a Mackey roll, you know, things like this, where we can just start to, like, record them here and be good to go. We need to get a large milk. Yeah, good. Uh, awesome. And I know that we also need to get... I can't remember. Is it just the duck egg? Okay, fall crops were good. Don't need to worry about that. A duck egg. Yeah, so large milk, duck egg. Uh, winter foraging, we'll get that soon enough. I'm not worried about that. Chest bundles, the trap, the truffle, the Mackey roll. That's all good. Okay, so just the duck egg is the only other item uh, to get here. So, this is a fantastic list now. And really utilizing one of these mods to make sure that we are good to go. The other thing that I could do, actually, is we could just put all of these like this. We could do a uh, community center, right? So we can make the community center the header. We can raise the community center up, 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 and up. So then all of these ones will put underneath. I know, right? We're so efficient. I love it. Turn off all these headers. Oh, feels so good. All right, excellent. Okay, good. So we have our items, I think, that uh, that we need for our to-do list to get going. Equally, I did accept a quest. I look, and Haley requires a coconut, so that one's a pretty easy one to do. And isn't Grandpa's shed done today? I could have sworn it's done today. We are definitely going to need a lot more iron and copper here moving forward to get everything that we need. All right, we have... Eggplant ready to go. That's good. We've already turned that in. And we did get our yams as well. So that's nice. Um, that will complete that. We have two days left on cranberries. And berry rose, two days left. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, the eggplant. Do we need that? No, we just need the yams. That's right. Okay. Let's put our eggplant away in the fridge. And we'll get ready with some yams uh, otherwise. These things will never finish. They're never done. I've officially decided that they cannot ever be done. All right? Just, just one of those things. All right? Okay. Eggplant. Good. We're going to sell some of the yams. I'm going to keep one around for our turn in here. And yeah, everything's going really, really well. We'll put four in there. We'll keep one for a turn in. Excellent. Okay, so the last thing would be the pumpkin on that list, uh, which is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Let's grab that coconut before we forget. And I actually remember, I need to actually ship these items as well. Uh, so instead, uh, I don't think it matters the grade when you're doing this. So let's just ship these two. Uh, that way we can get that done. And, okay, there's our coconut for Haley. Excellent. We have Jody's birthday. Uh, I do not recall what Jody likes. Uh, we did that a long time ago. What did she like again? Jody likes pink cake. How did we get... Did we not do anything for Jody, really? We haven't, really. We got two hearts just through communication and pink cake and one daffodil. That's kind of crazy. Um, for her birthday, maybe a cookie? That might... You know what? No, no. We can do better than that. We can do better. We'll do a diamond. Yeah. We'll give her a diamond. That's a good birthday present, I feel. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, next on the list, obviously, we need to get a whole bunch of tree tappers. And we also need to put down all cobblestone in between these trees uh so that's gonna be on the list of things to do let's get going uh in this adventure very nice hello chicken hello duck 
Beautiful. We got our duck. We got our cows. Oh, and they can be milked now. Awesome. We're probably not going to get a large milk, but they can be milked. That's great. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, let's jump in here. Let's get our eggs. Very good. And let's get going. We got 11 more days or whatever number that means on that thing. Okay. Awesome. Now the milk. Ooh. We don't really have a uh, a cheese press, do we? We're going to have to get a cheese press here right away. Uh, okay. Robin is working on the barn. Is that what I got her to do? Yeah, the barn, I think. Let's go see about turning in some of these items. We also have the fish for Willy, I think. Oh, no, I already gave him two this week. Hmm. Ah, Clay. Ah, Clay. Get out of here, Clay. All right. So, yeah, definitely need some copper and iron, I think. Oh, it's also this day. Oh, yes. Uh, what are we going to sell? 9 a.m. It's market day. What are we selling? Last time, I think the sashimi sold very well. Um, what are we going to sell today? Ooh. Uh, hmm. This is a tough one. We could go and make a whole bunch of sashimi. That would be pretty easy, actually. Uh, we could sell... We only have the one claw. Sell all the Choja Cola. That's funny. <laughs> uh, that would be funny. Um, hmm. What else could we sell? We could sell, like, these items. Kind of a little bit unique. Or we could straight up sell some of these gems. We got a lot of stuff here in terms of gems and whatnot, so... We could sell, you know, some topaz. We could sell some emerald, right? Might as well. And then otherwise, let's make some more sashimi. So let's go grab some fish. We'll make some sashimi and we'll get that uh, done as well. We should have quite a bit. How did we get blackberries? You know what? I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. I don't know how, how we got that. No clue. Uh, we're just going to go in here and we're just going to do what we do. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Let's cook up some sashimi. Salmon dinner salad. Radish salad. All right. Let's do that. And let's just make sure 92 of them. Why the heck not? Uh, did we get a skill up? <laughs> no, we did not. All right. <laughs> that should be more than enough. Uh, for the day, though. So let's go sell some of these items at the market day and get that going. The other thing, too, I gotta think of the Grange exhibit. I know we have diamonds, I have iridium ingots. Those should work out pretty good. What do we got here? Is this a cheese press? That's a cheese press. 16,000! <gasps> An auto grabber? Demetrius, please. Some of these things are ridiculous. All right. Uh, let's put our sashimi on the board. And let's put in our sashimi. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll also put in our topaz and our emerald. Okay. There goes nothing. Hi, Clint. How's it going? Hi, Harvey. Pierre, I mean, sorry. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Uh, bonsai tree and a decorative bowl. All right. Not the craziest by any means, but pretty good. Oh, we sold something. We sold a topaz. Nice. Okay. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. There is Jody. Uh, let's give Jody her birthday present. Birthday gift. Let's go. Nailed it. Uh, we sold a sashimi. Awesome. This is going to take up our entire day. Uh, I gave her the wrong thing. I gave her the coconut, didn't I? <sighs> well, at least she liked it. <laughs> that could have been terrible. Uh, oh, we got a furnace. 11,000. <laughs> I want those prices. 
How do I set my prices? Oh boy. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. I want this one. Thank you. Uh, I don't even know. Like, I want to set my prices to an absorbent amount. People are buying it. People are buying it. Well, Haley, I guess you get a diamond. Because <laughs> I accidentally gave uh, other people the thing that I was supposed to give you. Uh, you know, just one of those little details, I guess. Lewis, how's it going? Let's say hello. Uh, let's get up here. Let's restock our emerald. Let's restock our sashimi. Very nice. I'll try to keep this on the full. Those prices are ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. How's it going, Lamp? Bye. Yeah, sashimi. Perfect. Buy it all. Buy all the sashimi. Please. Please. Please buy it all. Buy the topaz, Emily. I know you want to. Yep. There we go. And the sashimi. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, too crowded. Not my fault. Sashimi. Topaz. Let's go. Sashimi. Is there a way to, like, do this better? Why is there a chicken roaming around? Sashimi. Oh, man. We are gonna light this up. I'm thinking about swapping the emerald. What are you grumpy about? For the butterfish, but we're, we'll just stick with it. We'll just stick with it. All right. Good. Uh, what's up, Shane? How's it going? You gonna buy some sashimi? Get in there. Auto grabber. No way you just bought that auto grabber. That's ridiculous if you just bought that auto grabber. And you didn't even buy from me. That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think Jody's had the best, Caroline's had the best, uh, luck with the old, uh, selling. Six grand for a charcoal kiln. That is absurdity. All right. Uh, we're getting on horsey. Uh, a lot of people have vacated. Let's jump up to the community center. While we made it through that initial surge, uh, in the, in the old, uh, market day. We'll drop off the yam while we're here. And I think that's pretty good. We, we did all right. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Let's get our yam in that fall crop bundle. Nice. We are getting so close. I feel so excited. I'm so excited to get this done. Um, to say the least. I think, yeah, otherwise we just need to get mining. I think we just need to mine. Uh, sadly... Okay, good, good. Another sashimi, another topaz. Let's go, let's go. Um, I need to get another coconut for uh, Haley as well. So let me go run back and grab a coconut, even though they're all about to come back out again for like a second round. But let's quickly jump on back and get Haley a coconut because I accidentally, I mean, I accidentally, but at the same time... Oh, no, I don't want the silver one. No, no, just the regular. Thank you. Uh, but it works out as well, because that way I gave her a gift, and then this is going to be a third gift, so... You know, all things considered, we're good. You know, it's, it's going to help. It's going to be just fine. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're starting to calm down. Haley? Have a coconut. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Give me that money. That 300 bucks. Beautiful. That's awesome. So, Haley should be... Yeah, we should get some pretty good points for that. A lightning rod. Not quite the... Uh, not quite the market day as last time with the uh, ridiculously overpowered uh, iridium ingots. <laughs> so, that's good. Um, it's kind of nice to see some of that diversity, too, coming through, so that's nice to see. Um, we'll get rid of that. I guess we'll keep the cart. Maybe we can turn it into sashimi. I'll have that lightning rod. Cool, big spender, Caroline. You want some sashimi, too? No, you do. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Get that sashimi. All right, four o'clock. I'm not going to be too worried. I think we'll keep it pretty simple. I think that'll be about it. It's closed, right? Yeah, it's all closed. 
Is that a solar panel? No way. No way. Okay, let's grab those items. And let's head on up to, I guess, the mine. We'll do a little bit of a copper iron run. Keep it pretty simple. We got Jody her birthday present today. We did the market day. I think we did pretty good. We're not quite selling $16,000 uh, paraphernalia like Demetrius over there. Crazy. Uh, Linus, you like sashimi. This is a great gift. You're welcome. There we go. Nice. Another, another little boon in the cat. Uh, I guess we're running all the way up. I didn't really think about that. Probably should have gone to the bus stop instead. Uh, grab that purple mushroom. Never have enough of them. And... Oh, I thought it was going to be a cutscene for a second. It looked a little cutscene-esque. Uh, let's jump on into the mine. This one's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to be running up and down. Trying to get some more iron. Simple, simple. All right, a bit of mining, not a big deal. I actually want to jump on Horsey here and head on down to the beach. I think this will be, oh, just as fast as taking the bus stop or the mine carts. Relic, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. That sashimi did work, Linus. You're just opening it up. All right. Uh, I was hoping you'd come by sometime. Come by all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. I think that's kind of valid. Uh, but you've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person, and I consider you a good friend. Awesome. Good friend with Linus. Booyah. What do we got? I want to show you something. Come inside. All right. Sounds good. Hello? Wild bait? There we go. See this? It's a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's top quality stuff. I'd eat it myself. Here, I want you to have the recipe. Nice. Wild bait recipe. Sweet. That is a great thing to learn from Linus. Definitely worth it. Uh, that one there is the best bait that you can get, basically. So I think it's right here. Fiber, bug meat, and slime. So, yeah, it's a really, really good uh, bait that you can get from your fishing rod. So, keep that one in mind if you want to uh, ever explore it. You get it from Linus at, I think it's five hearts? Are we at five hearts with him? Uh, da, 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 da. Four hearts, four hearts. Okay, cool. Um, I did want to leave a little bit early. I want to take a quick gander down at the beach to see if we can't get a Nautilus shell. Um, again, I'm probably going to have to check pretty routinely to make sure and see if we can't get it. Um, it's a, it's kind of a big deal, to say the least. Uh, okay, that's all muscles and such. I guess we can probably pick those up on our way back out. We got some clams. We got a conch, but not what we're looking for. Okay. Alright, it's midnight. Let's get out of here. We'll just grab a couple of these last items and probably just head on straight home. Uh, it's probably a little bit quicker for me to take the minecart back. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back in time. It'll be fine. We didn't use much for energy anyways, so no big deal. You found a lost book. And a chewing stick. Okay. If you say so. Alright. Um nah, you know what? We'll just we'll just hoof it. It's fine. It'll be a okay. I wanna take all their stuff. Take all their loot. Alright. I think we had a decently successful market day. I mean, like I said, we're not selling iridium bars or like iridium sprinklers for an obscene amount of money. Or anything like that just yet so you know there's still a lot that we can explore but for right now i think it did pretty good uh for everything um okay that is an artifact okay that's good um we got no room in that chest that was our artifact chest wasn't it pretty sure it is we got our geodes in there 
But yeah, I guess... I guess it's just full. It's just full. Alright, uh, the conch will sell. I'm just gonna sell it all. It's fine. Winter roots, good. Uh, dwarf scroll, don't really care. Purple mushroom, yeah, whatever. No big deal. And the sashimi, too. I forgot about that. Boom. All 84 of it. Let's go. Out with ya. Alright, that's good. Let's hit the hay. Uh, before we get, uh, too crazy. We gotta say hello to the puppy. There we go. Okay. We will get our market day research. We should get an okay amount of money. Yeah, not too bad. 9,800. I'll take it. I'll take it. Especially considering it's just crab pot, basically. That's not too shabby. I will gladly take that. All right. We are on another day here. We have the traveling merchant in town. Seriously, though, these things never finish. 23. Is that, like, done right away, I think? It might be. All right. Pumpkins, two days left. Perfect. Cranberries, one day left. What do we got here? We got our market day. Average bonus of 47% sales today, 2,000. 16 items sold. That's good. That's pretty good. I will take it. Awesome. Uh, fried calamari from Jody. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at the billboard. Smallmouth bass caught radioactive bar. I don't even know what... How do you... What? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. That's ridiculous. All right. Um, let's go say hi to our animals. We're already done everything uh, to start the day here. So we can come over and pet and milk the cows. Pet and milk. The faster we get their hearts up, the better. Because that means that we are going to get um, our way into... Oh, we got a large egg. Look at us go. We need to ship that large egg. I think I also need to ship one of these milks. Yeah. Okay, we'll just put one milk away. I also should just get the uh, cheese press. Yeah, let's build the cheese press. Let's ship these two items. Because uh, we need to. Efficiency at its finest. All right. Cheese press requires what? Cheese is a fantastic food source, by the way. So wood, stone, hardwood, and copper. All right, wrong chest. Wood, hardwood, stone, and copper bar. Let's get uh, two of them. Yeah, let's do two. One, two. Excellent. All right, let's put all of this back again. We definitely need to start farming some more wood and hardwood and stuff again. So that's, that's a thing. I should also make some more cobblestone path before... We get too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's get around 100 or so. I think that should be okay. Because we need to automate our extra trees over here. And I want to put down all of this before we get, uh, yeah, into trouble with a whole bunch of seeds dropping and stuff like that. So let's get this all done. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Good. We'll get mixed into the trees here. Like so. Awesome. Very good. I think we got all of those. It's so hard to see. It's so hard to see. All right, we got that. I think it's easier if we go down with them. Okay, good. We go down. We go down. Yeah, look at this. It's going pretty good. I like it. Okay. And then we'll go down like so and boom so all of this now should technically be automated into that chest which is a-okay by me um i think it's pretty darn awesome all right so that should collect us almost everything uh let's go down here i'm just going to use the same chest that we have for our cheese presses it will automatically work through the mod so that'll be really really good okay um other than that what else can we get done and built today uh we'll put our path back let's go look at how much oak resin we truly have we have six okay 
We need to get some tree tappers as well. So let's see. A keg is oak resin, iron, copper, and wood. That wood is going to disappear fast. So is that iron. Okay. So with this, we can get six kegs. That's good. That is a good start. I like it. I appreciate the start. Let's jump in here. Were these items done yet? 20. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? I'm so confused. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we're getting a whole bunch of pale ale. I didn't even realize this is producing every day. That's good. And that is producing too. I've had it the whole time. I've had it the whole time. Yeah, we've just, like, had all of this the whole time. Sitting there, collecting, making money. No wonder I've been so confused. All right, let's sell one of you. Let's sell one of you. And let's see if this uh, pickled kale will work for our sturgeons or if it needs something else. It actually needs, like, a red jelly, eh? Hmm. What can we get that can make that? We need, like... Can we do cranberry? Maybe? I don't know. I don't I don't really know, for sure. Uh, let's put these items in here, and let's see. What can we get that would be red? Maybe a melon? Maybe? We can try it, right? So, let's do this, and then this, and then that way it'll do what it needs to do. Okay, good. Uh, the kegs then, I guess. Let's... Let's go a little crazy. Right? Uh, it's fine. No big deal. Uh, who needs... Who needs space to walk in their house, right? <laughs> Alright, that'll be fine though. That'll work. Alright, we'll put that guy down there. That cow is so far out of its area. Alright. We've wasted enough time. It's Friday. Let's go down to the traveling merchant. Let's see if she has a nautilus shell, a truffle, or any of the other items that we require. What do we got here? Oh, we got an Andy cutscene. Okay. Hello. Andy's foraging. Nothing wrong with a little foraging. He caught me in the midst of foraging. Lots of good stuff today. Rain helps him pop up. Nice. I enjoy looking for forage in the forest. If I could, I'd make it a full-time job. I agree. There's not much, uh, not much, uh, in it. That's for sure. All right. Say, you busy? I have some things to talk with you about. Oh, what? What things? Oh, we're going to the cliff side. All right. Look at all those fish. Things are tough when you're all on your own, farmer. I don't have many people I'd call close friends in my life. No? You know, I tried talking to Mayor Lewis into letting the other farmers are take over your grandpa's farm. It was good land being left to spoil. There was nothing Lewis could do about it. Your grandpa still owned the deed to that there land. Okay. You showed up out of nowhere and you've been doing a yoba darn good job of it, too. Well, thank you, Andy. Even though you're mad. What I'm trying to say is... I'm proud of you. Wow. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate that. I won't lie. I used to be jealous of you. You only started farm work recently, relatively speaking, and I've been doing this all my life, and I haven't amounted to much. At first, I thought you'd move out of the valley because you couldn't handle the farm work. City kid. Going from that office job to farming is a radical change in lifestyle. But you didn't. You kept at it, kept improving, and showing me I was wrong. I can tell you're as passionate about farming as best as you can. You've brought more commerce to the valley with the publicity of Expanded Farm. All the farmers are selling more as a result. That's good. That's very good. I suppose what I'm really trying to say here is... Thank you. Nice. Call it. You're welcome, Andy. I've been doing my hardest. 
Thank you for inspiring me to be a better person, giving Fairhaven Farm more business. It's helped my life more than you know. Well, there you go. There you go. Little competition done you good, Andy. Good view from here. Gotta say, this right here is Fern Gillian Dream, living in Stardew Valley. Thanks for being a good friend and showing me compassion, farmer. That was a really, really nice cutscene with Andy. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, oh, and we have another one with the wizard. Okay. What what are you wizarding? What are we wizarding, wizard? Dot dot dot. Yeah, dot dot dot. That's what that's what I'm saying. One moment, I must assess the strength of this barrier. Oh. Yeah, uh, what? Why, what are we burying against? Is it against his wife? Or ex-wife? It should hold steady for another six seasons. Okay. Do you say so? Hmm, I see. Let me explain. While Stardew often seems tranquil, monsters do lurk in its darker corners, particularly deep in the woods. West of my tower, there are dangerous slimes that attack any human they see. As the resident magic of Pelican Town, it is my responsibility to maintain the magical bearer that prevents those monsters from attacking. Oh. When a witch or wizard chooses their home, they also swear to protect the residents of that home. That's cool. I like that. Camilla, the witch of Castle Village, is exceptionally talented. She leads the vanguards, fighting off the hordes of monsters in Galdora. The barrier she oversees is the largest in the world. Wow. I must attend a council meeting. Oh, well, bamp on out of there. See ya. That's interesting. I like the lore. The added little lore. That's good. Any more? Nope, that's it. <laughs> All right. That was good, though. That was really, really good. Oh, Robin finished as well. That means we got the bigger barn, didn't we? Uh, that is noted. A large egg. No. No. Slime. Pink office chair. None of that is helpful. Um, that means we can get the bigger barn. That means we can get the bigger barn. Um, do we rush it? I think we rush it. I think we rush it to try to get a truffle. I think we have to. It's $25,000 to get this thing. I don't even know if I have enough wood and such, but I may be willing to buy it if required. We're going to find out, though, right quick. I wish we could dial a little faster, though. I need a cell phone, not a home phone. Uh, building upgrade costs. Let's go. Deluxe farm. 550 wood, 300 stone. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Where are we at? 403. Oh. Ouch. I don't know if we can do it. Not today, anyways. I'm not sure if we can get there. Um, let's pop down. Oh, the shed is fixed. Okay. That is cool. Um, let's get that cutscene going. Yeah. It looks awesome, Robin. As per normal. We've got a little kitchen over here. We've got a little workstation back there. So what do you think? You may have seen new window panes on the roof. There's a great space to grow plants up there now. Uh, what? Did you just make me a greenhouse? I couldn't have fixed it up without all the materials you gathered. I actually had a lot of fun and learned some new things. This bottom floor would be great for aging wine. Agreed. Look at it. It's huge. Enjoy the refurbished shed. All right, I will. Uh, you said that there's an upstairs? <gasps> it's a greenhouse. Okay, okay. That definitely changes some things for tomorrow. Uh, we need to set that up ASAP. All right, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to farm enough. Let's just farm a little bit of stuff here. Uh, she closes at 5. If we can at least get some more stone going. 
Uh, these drop a decent amount of stone, so if we can get some of these big boulders, get some of these little guys out of here, and get kind of going on some of this stuff, it will at least help absorb some of those costs that we are about to incur rushing this barn. So, you know, it's, it is a thing, but I think we need to do it for science, obviously. I mean, Demetrius is on board, because it's for science, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a good idea. Alright, we need to get out of here. We need to get this rock up here. Get these guys. Let's get that. Oh, man. So many, like, hotkeys. I'm hotkeying everything. So good. Uh, I see another big boulder up to the north there. That might be... There's actually a lot up there. Let's go down here, though, first. Get that stone. I think we needed, like, 350. So, if we can get close, that will be helpful. There's some more big ones down here. Okay. Good. This is good. This is really good. Oh, yeah. Let's go. It's crazy, like... The amount of stone and stuff that you need at times can be a little ridiculous. So, and we need like 500 and something of the wood. So that's going to be probably a little tougher for us to get. Uh, where's Horsey? Right there. All right. We got a wide open stone here. We can still make it to Robin. So we got plenty of time. Let's just clear this up. Let's get this guy. And that should get us enough stone at least uh boom and we're there right i think that's 350 351 all right we overshot that's fine let's head on up and let's head on over to robin's house uh this is probably the slower way hopefully we get there uh i would like to get this done don't betray me game we can do it we can do it it's so funny time goes by so fast when you need it to go really really slow right just like real life okay we're good no why is she leaving is she not open today in general oh okay well oh this is the uh hardwood thing uh a deluxe four poster bed crafted for the finest local hardwood i got that uh robin what's the point of the four posts it seems like an inefficient use of materials oh boy demetrius it's called beauty bud you know, that thing that most people find enjoyable. True. True. I see your point, but we can't let that outweigh the utility and efficiency. They're so opposite, it's funny. <laughs> Just to irritate me. Is that what you're doing? Oh boy. Hi. Just coming on in. Don't mind me. Uh, it was the bed I was able to make thanks to all the wood you gathered. It's a beautiful bed. I, you can just give it to me. Uh, the aesthetics are perfect. Yeah. Get out of here, Demetrius. You need some aesthetics at times. Can't always be efficiency. It can't always be efficiency. So, now you can start selling them. They're expensive, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right there, Robin. Nice try. Uh, she doesn't appear to be open. We missed her. Okay. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We will... Survive. Um... Tomorrow, barn. Right? I guess. I guess that'll be the thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we got a skeletal hand, too. I don't think I've done that one yet. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I guess that's a tomorrow thing. The nice thing about that is it does give us the opportunity to farm up some additional wood. So we don't have to worry as much about that. So let's just chop down a few trees uh, here and there. There's still so much to clear up on the farm. I should probably be doing it there. Uh, let's just go down here and let's clear up some of this uh right here even yeah this will be good so we can get a lot more uh resources for the rest of the day here today use up the last of our energy 
burn through, um, and just kind of clean things up. The other thing, too, is at first glance with that grandpa's uh, greenhouse, is what I'm going to call it, it looked like it was efficient for iridium sprinklers. And it looked like six of them. Now, I do have... I do so happen to have six iridium ingots. That might be a worthwhile investment, but I might want to wait a little bit until winter or closer to winter. But I guess we could produce cranberries in there and we can plant them right now, like tomorrow. Uh, I mean, we got the barn too, so gonna be an expensive day i don't i think we get cranberries tomorrow though so we get some cranberries tomorrow we sell them we plant more cranberries in the garden shed with iridium sprinklers and then we're kind of just set right we're set for all of winter we'll have cranberries all winter long and that would be probably pretty good. Um, hmm. That might be a good strategy. I'd like to know what you all think. I think that might be the way that I go, though. Um, even without your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, and then we'll be getting the actual greenhouse soon, too. So we can double down on greenhouses. That's a lot of greenhousing. Not gonna lie. I really wish I had some ancient seeds. We have not found those in the slightest, so uh, that's a thing. Um, yeah, otherwise, though, I think... I definitely think we should clear this out and move the, uh, the animals over to here. I think that's a really good, efficient use of our ability. Okay, awesome. I'm going to keep going here and finish up the day all right so we ended up getting some nettles uh we got the skeletal hand as well uh we are kind of sort of running out of room here aren't we uh i don't think there was any artifacts in here anymore so let's set up a new spot for artifacts i guess we'll throw them in there for right now these nettles, I'm not too sure. I don't remember ever seeing those. So, yeah, not too sure what we're doing with those. Um, let's put away our stone and wood. We got a decent amount, you know, 900 wood. I'm not going to complain about that, that's for sure. And then I think we can just kind of do that. That's good. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it for the evening. It's crazy that our furnaces have caught up and are not producing anything. That's bonkers to me. But we do need to sleep. It needs to happen. We can go back here. And actually, one of the things I just thought up, I put melon in here, but we have salmon berry. We can make a salmon berry for a red kind of jelly thing. But sadly, we had a lot of recording there. We had a lot of cutscenes. We had a lot of fun. And we need to uh, finish up the episode. So thank you all so much. And have a good one.